Hello, my people. You are welcome back to Physique Court Fashion House. My name is Fola. I appreciate as many that have been subscribing to our channel. And as many that are yet to do so, do well to subscribe today. Thank you. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make a beautiful lantern puff sleeve. It's going to be detailed and interesting. Watch to the end. Let's go. Now, to make your lantern uh, puff sleeve, you need two, two to two and a half years for, for both uh, sleeves. So you need your fabric, you need the lining, and you need your elastic rubber. The first thing to do is to get the random that you are working with. And the random we are working with is a 14. So you add two to that 14, making a 16. Then you divide the 16 by two, give us eight. So that eight now is what you use to place your fabric on fold. So you let your fabric be on fold this way. It's a eight inches. Fold your fabric to eight inches. Then the length we'll be working with is a eleven. Then that eleven you had one seam allowance to it, making twelve. So you cut out eight inches uh, by by twelve. The length is twelve. So the next thing to do now is to measure the armhole circumference of the of your dress. So now the our most circumference we are working with is 17. So that 17, you had one to it, which is a seam allowance. So making 18. So that 18 now, you now divide it by two. When you divide 18 by two, it gives us a nine. So it is the that nine now that you now get here. Just place your tape this way to get the nine. Just like this. So you mark here. Here you are able to achieve your nine. Then you just say uh, link it, connect it. Measure it again. So nine inches. So we have gotten our nine inches. So for this down part, we just deduct uh, one inch from the eight. This eight you deduct one, so you got a seven. Now connect from this uh, mark now, where you have come in by one inch. You connect to the all parts. You slightly connect it. Then we cut it out. So this we have. Cut out now, you cut out your lining the same way. We have cut out the lining. So the next thing is to join the lining and the fabric together. So after joining the lining and the fabric together, you now we now measure what we are having here. So it's what we are having here that we want to work on now for the lantern off part of our sleeve. Now, the lining has been joined to the fabric and what we are having now is a 14. So this 14 now, we are going to multiply it by two because the lantern sleeve I want to cut, I'm going to cut it in the, I mean the lantern puff sleeves, I'm going to cut it in a, a flare form. I mean, 360 degree flare form. That is the way I want to cut it out, but I want it to have uh, some uh, pleatings here. So that is why I'm multiplying this 14 by two. So making 28. So which means the our the circumference of, of this place now is uh, 28. So, and to to get the, the radius now, because it's 360 degree, the formula we want to use. So now, this is the way I 
work out my radius. This is the way it was uh, calculated. You know, we are working with circumference uh, 28 now. So circumference is equal to 2 pi half. And then, uh, you know, our circumference, uh, circumference is uh, 28. So 28 is equal to 2 pi half. So to get the radius now, because it's the radius we are working with now. So the radius is now 28 over 2 times 3 point, pi is a uh, 3.8. 142. So 2 times 3.142 now is 6.284. 28 over 6.248 now give us a 4.45, approximately 4.5. So that's how we get our radius now, which is a 4.5. So now to fold our fabric now. We are going to, the length, the length we'll be working with for the lantern uh, puff, the length we'll be working with is uh, 18. Actually, what we want to achieve, the length we want to achieve for the lantern puff uh, part is uh, like uh, 10 to 11. But because we are going to fold it in to form a balloon shape, so the remaining length will be used to, to fold in. So that is why we are working with a length 18. So that 18 now, we are going to add this 4.5 to it. If you add 4.5 plus 18, it gives us a 22.5. So it is that 22.5 now that you will use to fold your fabric into four. Now, I have folded my fabric into four equal parts to cut out my 360 degree flare. If you don't know how to cut uh, the 360 degree flare, just check our video. We have dropped, uh, we already have video on how to cut different type of a uh, flare. Just check on that. So now, what we will first do now, we have folded our fabric, you know, we have to fold our fabric and then um, 22 and a half. So, here now we have 22. We are still good to go with 22. And we have 22. So 22, 22, 22, all right. First thing to do now is to first of all get your radius, which is a 4.5. So get 4.5, which is four and a half. You get it around four and a half. So then you get the remaining. So to get the remaining, you know, we need the, the 18, but if we still get 17, it's still okay. So let's go for 17. So you get the 17 round. Yes, so we cut out the same thing, lining, we cut our lining out the same way we have cut out this. So let me cut out the lining. The, we have cut out the, the lining. So the next thing to do now is to open it, open the lining, open the fabric. And begin to, you know, wrong side A, wrong side A. So the right side is facing their self. So you now jo go and join it. We are going to join it with a half or quarter an inch here now. Quarter an inch is okay. Quarter is okay to join it around everything. So after that, we now turn it to the right side and iron it properly before we now do the next. Now, this is our flare. We have joined the lining and the fabric together from uh, inside and we have turned it out and they uh, iron it very well. So, and this is the, the upper sleeve. 
the upper sleeve we have joined it by the side with half an inch we have ironed it very well so the next thing to do now is to go and run machine again we measure like a half an inch half an inch we sew on it go around on the half an inch we sew on it so that is the loophole we want to create for to insert our elastic so let's do that now so after that we now begin to join this place we begin to pleat this place into our the damp part of our of the upper part of our sleeve so let's first insert our uh, elastic we have wrong machining on it so the next thing to do now is to just open from the lining just create a uh, an opening just not too obvious opening to cut the to cut out the elastic just measure your elbow circumference to cut out your elastic so I'm going to cut out 10 inches Then you make it to insert your elastic. Note that as you are inserting your elastic, you will have put another pin at this end to secure your elastic in order not to enter the loop. So I've uh, inserted the elastic and this is the excess, you just use this to tie it. So you just find a way to pull in the so I'll be able to pull in the knots and the here we are. So no elastic is obvious now. So the next thing to do now is to go and pleat this to to our to the upper part of our sleeve. So now this is the end result of our lantern puff sleeve. You can see how beautiful and puffy it looks. So beautiful. I'm sure you have enjoyed this video. Give it a like, share with your friend, and drop your comments on the comment section to let me know how much you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you have any style you want me to make for you, I'm just drop it on the comment section. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Physical Fashion House. Thank you so much. See you next time.